In this video, we're going to cover the different feature representations in Feature Turn. And you're going to find that uh, the feature representations in Feature Turn are exactly the same as the feature representations in Feature Mill. Only these are applicable specifically to turning operations. So let's begin. So you'll see that I've got a part shown on the screen here in the isometric view. And it may be a little bit difficult to tell what this part is um, or what this part looks like because I've, I have a 2D representation shown isometrically. But, but what we have is a threaded shaft example shown in the, uh, in the view screen in the center um, right in here. So this is in, in essence one representation of our feature. So if I wanted to alter or edit the grooving or the thread feature, I simply double click on it and now my thread properties window is open and I can adjust any of the features or any of the dimensions that are associated with this threaded feature. Another place where features are represented is in the part view menu. And you'll see that in the part view tree list for setup one, I have my groove feature, my face feature, a hole feature, and then a thread feature. Um, and I can double click on this thread feature and you'll see that my thread properties open in the same manner as they did when I double clicked on the thread profile in the view screen. And the last place that features are represented is in the results tab operations list. And you'll see that right now our, our features are all listed in order of operation. Uh, for example, our facing operation is associated with a finishing operation. The hole is associated with a drilling operation. Thread one is associated with a threading operation. So let's, just like we did before with the other two examples, let's take a look at the threading operation and we'll double click on it. And you'll see that the thread properties window opens, but it looks a little bit different. Well, that's only because I'm checked on, or in, in this case here, I have the active operation uh, highlighted. I can go back and just click on thread um, and you'll see that this is the same window that we had opened previously by double clicking on the thread and also by double clicking on the thread one uh, under setup one um, to adjust these uh, these different properties associated with the thread. So um, again that's uh, pretty simple. It's pretty easy. Again there's three areas on the, uh, on the user interf interface where you can uh, see that features are represented. The first is in the view screen, the second is in the part view menu, and the third is in the operations list. Mm -hmm. 